what you doing, boy? Huh? You out in this uh, icy crap? That's what it is, guys. Icy crap. It's all it's done. It's sleet. Sleet, sleet, sleet. Look at that truck. Horrible. At least it hasn't been too terribly freezing cold. It's been about 30. Somewhere in there. 28. I know uh, Libby's in her kennel. In her insulated doghouse over there. And her water hasn't froze, but the chicken's water did. So I've been going out every few hours with hot water. Making sure everybody's got the fresh water. They're all plenty warm. She come out of there a minute ago when I gave her a hot dog. But hopefully this crap is out of here in a day or two. I think we got more coming tonight and tomorrow. What? Are you on patrol? Yeah, rain or shine, sleet or snow. Although dog is on patrol, and I just about took oh, I just about took another spill. I gotta get back in. Yeah, Lily, Lily's in the doghouse. It's funny when it gets cold. That one doghouse on the end, the most insulated. <laughs> You'll see them both pouring out of there. They, they figured out if they're in there together that they're warm. Yeah, yeah. sister won't let you in. Huh? Well, you tell her I said that to let you in. Okay? You're the boy. You're the oldest. You set the rules. Alright, I'm going to leave you alone. Ow. Good evening, YouTube adores and YouTubians. Uh, February 23rd, 2022. And this is not coffee with Dog Man. Because I ain't got no coffee, man. It's like 5 o'clock. 4.30 in the afternoon, but I can't do any other kind of video because as you've seen, the weather is crap. I mean crap. And uh, I don't mind a little snow, but this is all we've got is sleet. And it is slick out there, man. I ain't going nowhere. That's the nice thing about being retired. I ain't got to go nowhere, man. I got all my stuff. In the refrigerator, I'm prepared, I got food, so I don't have to get out in that. Uh, I, I haven't seen too many people go down the road. It's a sheet of ice out there. I've seen some big semis go by. Uh, but they were going real slow, man. Well, it's just me and Rooster. We're cooped. We're having a coop day. We don't mind them. Got some naps in. It's about the only time I can get a nap in is when that little yapper is in the house and Libby is put up because anything that moves, they got to bark at. And when she starts, Libby starts. And then the other ones may start, but usually not. So I get to get in a good nap uh, on a coop day. And that's about all Rooster does. And we both took a nap a little bit ago, so I'm all rested up. Uh, hadn't done a whole lot this week. Got that rest of that garden. I did fill up a couple more of those uh, containers with dirt. I got about all that dirt picked up. I did that right before we had rain before this. Before it rained, I got all that raked up and, and scooped up and put into the pots. So none of that went to waste. Uh, Rob, the main, one of the main reasons I built that around that tree like that is that area is where I had dug my electrical line that goes to my well house. My electrical box is on the other side. Well, I went down a foot and a half with it, and it is exposed in that area because of the erosion. So when I, when I do something out front here, once I get them trees down, I'm going to have to maybe make a tie wall to where that erosion, it's, it's not eroding that away every, every six months like it's been doing. And that, that solved that for a while. The only place I was getting erosion was like in the little trails in between it. But I'll, I'll figure it out. Uh, it's not a huge deal. I do need to re, rerun that electrical line to that well. Um, I may put another have another pole brought in by the power company. Because if I put a shop out over on that side, it's going to... It'd be cheaper to get a new pole and put a box up than to go buy that wire and run it all the way back out there. Plus, I may want to go to 200 amp service. I'm not, I don't have that, but if, depending on what I put out there, I may need it. And it's better to have too much of anything than not enough. So, 
right now I have a 200 amp panel in here but I'm not running 200 200 amp service but I don't have that many circuits on it so it, you know I, I can still add two or three more and, and still be way within my limits uh, but I didn't have anything to do figured I need to get a video up so I figured I'd do a kind of like a coffee with dog man only without the coffee and just I haven't been doing much getting on watching videos. You gotta have days like that sometimes. Uh, nothing's nothing's really going on when it's like this. Nobody leaves. The schools are shut down. Uh, and they do absolutely nothing to the roads. And it'll just have to melt. <laughs> so I figure it won't be gone until probably Sunday. Uh, and then on this road, there's a, you, you can look outside, you can see it's perfectly dry, but then there's areas that come around curves that are in the shade, and they'll be icy for another four or five days after everything else melts. So you got to be careful uh, when you're taking some of these curves, and it's a pretty curvy road coming into here. But I am pretty set for the next few days. I got more dog food. They get canned dog food, and then I get a bag of dry food. And they always get a can. I split it between three of the dogs. They always get a can mixed in with their uh, with their dry food. Gives them a different flavor. Gives them a little meat in there. And I'll mix a little. When it's cold like this, I'll, I'll mix it with a little bit of hot water so it warms it up. And they like the gravy that it makes, so they eat it a little quicker. And But they're spoiled, man. But that's, you know, they're healthy. Brewster... I've yet to find a good dinner she likes, and you know, even if you find something she likes, the next day she may not eat it. But she's always got a bowl of dry food there, uh, whatever reason she likes to eat after I go to bed. As soon as I lay down, you hear her. She's got a, she gets a mouthful, jumps up on her window stoop, eats it. You can hear her crunching, back up. She can't sit there at the bowl and eat. She'll do that, not even with her, her wet food that I give her. Um, she had filet, or, yeah, filet mignon today. Or no, prime rib. I don't get prime rib. She gets prime rib. Prime rib Caesars, and then I saved a little bit of what the dogs got and mixed in there with it. But she won't eat that until it gets dark. I don't know why. That's just her eating habits. And then it never fails. Immediately after she eats, guess what she has to do? Yep, I get back out of bed, take her out. <laughs> dogs, man. Why do I have dogs? Don't know. So, uh, I, I, I should be cleaning this place up. And that laundry room, I can't even walk through it. I got so much stuff crammed in there. And I, I need to get this closet, this closet finished here under the stairs. You know, and I could take a lot of this stuff upstairs. Uh, I just don't want too much up there right now until I get a floor in and get that thing finished up there. All I really got to do is put run a little look, a uh, couple outlets up there. I've already got the wire for that, and and put a floor in because that I am not going to leave that floor the way it is. It looks terrible. But when they laid it, there's huge gaps in it. It's just you know. I'll, I'll, I'll get somebody to come in here and lay a floor or find somebody to pay them to, because I can't get on my hands and knees and do it no more. I can get down there, but it hurts. It's getting up. After I've been down a while, man, I'll never get up. But I did get the scale out of the bathroom closet today and weighed myself because I haven't done that in a long time. And apparently I lost 15 pounds. Don't know how. But I did. But that's good. At least it didn't go up the other way. So, and I always lose weight about going in the spring because I do a lot more activities. I need to just start walking, but it hurts the knee so bad. But I can still do it. I can wrap that knee up. I've got 990 feet of trails back there that I built. And they're good walking trails. The dogs, Libby especially, likes going on walks on them. She gets a walk every morning. Unless it's like this, then you can't even get her out of her doghouse. She don't want to come out in it. And we had, when it was coming down with ice, we were having thunder and lightning. It was weird. I think they call that thunder ice or something like that. You don't get that very often, but it was weird. You could see the lightning and then big loud thunder. 
But it wasn't raining. It was ice coming down. So anyway, guys, uh, just thought I'd get a video up, say hey. Uh, hope y'all enjoyed my poor people soup. Boy, that's a good batch of food right there. Uh, I, I made too much. I had to dig some of the beans out of the crock pot. Uh, and I put them on the stove and cooked them on there for a while. And then when I got time, came time to eat it, I got a bowl full out and then I put some more back in there and cooked it a little longer. But yeah, I, I just add, there was a lot of, that little bag of 15 bean soup doesn't look like much, but it is. And then I added two cans of veg oil. I need a bigger crock pot. That's all. That would solve everything. Uh, you know, the last batch of chili I made, I had to freeze the rest of that. But I, I've i been cooking my chili on the stovetop because that thing just doesn't, doesn't hold enough. I only know how to cook for an army, man. I don't know how to cook for one. But my freezers are full. I got two freezers full of food. Uh, I don't, don't want to cook or something. I just... Pull one of them out, put it in the microwave on defrost. Got me some food, man. All right, guys. Everybody have a good rest of the week. If you're in this kind of weather uh, across the country like I am, stay safe. Don't go anywhere if you don't have to. Happy trails.